I like making noises. Beep, boop, bop, boop. Beep, boop, bop, 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 boop, boop. Just don't make the noises you made when you opened your exercise bike. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to leave that one alone. Great. Great. Hello, Misty. Hello, Ike. How's it going? It's good. Yeah? I woke up in a really good mood today. Well, that's unusual. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. I, you know, it's the first day of lockdown 2.0, and I kind of assumed I would wake up foul, <laughs> but I did yep. not. I woke up and had two cups of coffee and was raring to go. I got here before you did. Well, think about it. Yes, you did. I brought donuts. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. Show Sh them the box. Shout out to Trejo's Donuts. What's up, Danny? What's up, Danny? Boom. <laughs> this episode's not brought to you by donuts. It but It should be. But it's brought to you by the sugar that we're fueled off oh of. Oh, my God. So much sugar. Yep. Which one was your favorite? Um, the chocolate on chocolate was pretty good, mm -hmm. and the um, cereal topped one was pretty good. I wasn't going to tell you, but before you got here, there was um, it was a peanut butter one, and it had Reese's, I think, crumbled on top of it. And I went to just take like a sliver of it. And you accidentally ate the whole thing. And I accidentally <laughs> ate the entire thing. Oh. That one was my favorite. <laughs> is today's episode about donuts? It could be. It should be. It could be. Um, How, uh, what are we gonna? What are we gonna do today? Well, I've heard of these two people that have been ruining the internet. I right. think we should try it. Okay. How and like how long do you want to do that? Then? I don't know. Maybe like ten plus five minutes. Okay. Um. So fifteen. That's what they I'm say. Quick. You are. I am. Let's start. <clears throat> meow. Okay. So uh, in light of what you just said. We're going to talk about the best donuts in America. Oh, well, everybody knows that it comes uh, from New York because of their delicious water. Those are bagels. Oh. <laughs> Good try, though. But wouldn't the same line of thinking happen wouldn't it be if the bagels are good the donuts are also good that is not necessarily true no no does it come down because more to how you fry for, the donuts well bagels for the most part are well yeah donuts are fried and bagels are uh bageled no they're boiled Ooh. i think is the proper really? term and then baked i don't think that they're baked they have to be proper baked. ones. No, let's look it up. I don't okay. think so. Let's Google how to. I mean, I think like if you make them at your house, but if it's a bagel place, how to. How to make a bagel. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you boil bagels? Boiling bread like bagels and pretzels effectively sets the crust before it goes in the oven. Okay, to be there you baked. Go. Yep. Okay. You're right. But those are baked. Donuts are fried. That's true. So, I mean, they're two different methods, but also, yep. I mean, primarily bagels are savory and donuts are sweet. So you can't really even put them really in the same categories. You could, but who I would? I don't think so. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you my favorites in the entire world. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a place in Washington, D.C. D. D. Street. D. Street. Mm -hmm. That's called Astro Donuts. Ooh, I wonder if it's on this list. <clears throat> I don't know. Tell me. I'll look while you talk. Okay, okay. Um, if I remember right, it's like a, I think it's a caramel bagel. Like a, but it's, I don't know, it's crunchy on top. Like the frosting is kind of crunchy and it's just delicious. Mm. Um. However, I mean, I do also think that we should go maybe a little bit more low brow to places that you can find everywhere. So, I mean, America runs on Duncan. That was going to be my first suggestion. Mm -hmm. What uh, What's your favorite donut at Duncan? Oh, man, it really depends on my mood. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes I like uh, a bear claw. Okay, that's fair. Um, but then, you know, sometimes I like. It's very rare that I feel um, in the mood for something cream filled. I was going to say, how do you feel about the jelly filled and cream filled varieties? I would be more likely to do like um, a cream filled over like a jelly. 
So that's why that the two berry filled ones that are in this box are still sitting untouched. Yeah, but don't worry about that because <laughs> you can get to those later. We'll get to them. <laughs> I just wanted to get to the ones I like better first. Okay. Well, okay. Then here's the next question. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about you know? There's this whole new thing in donuts like voodoo donuts and trejos where they're just like outrageous donuts like voodoo has the marshall mathers which is like frosting it's covered in Mm m&ms they have um they have the one that's like maple icing and it has a slice of bacon on top of it i'm looking at a picture of it right now the maple bar and it's got incredible uh maple syrup drizzled on top oh what kind of donut is the base for that is it does it all just like it's a regular donut Mm -hmm. It's, um, it's not a cake it's a fluffy donut and then it's just covered. It's got the maple cream mm-hmm. and then the bacon. And have you seen that clip of uh, Snoop Dogg working at Duncan? I've not. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Okay. It's so good. People are like, is that Snoop Dogg? He's like, what's a sh- shizzle shizzle or whatever. You, <clears throat> while you look for that, I'm going to tell you a story about how I once almost got married at Voodoo Donuts in Portland, Oregon. Okay, let's hear that. So Voodoo Donuts is a 24-hour establishment in portland oregon and now they've branched out and there's places there's franchises all over the place um i was on tour with a couple of bands and we decided to go after the show was over at like two in the morning to voodoo donuts and when we walked in we some of us had never been there and we realized that you know there were all these menus on the wall and on one of them for like I think it was like $30. You could get 13 donuts and they would marry you. What? They would marry you. So the drummer for the other band, which was called The Lashes, they were from Seattle. Um, His name was Nate. He and I both had really curly, crazy hair. And everyone decided that if anyone was going to get married, it should probably be Nate and I. Mm -hmm. So we kind of looked at each other for a minute and we went... Yeah, why not? Let's get married at 3 o'clock in the morning at a donut shop. That sounds like a good decision. Right? Mm -hmm. And um, luckily we found out after doing a bit more research and talking to the overnight staff at Voodoo Donuts that it's not actually a legally binding marriage. Oh, then you totally should have done it. No, we did. Did you know the Taco Bell in Vegas will marry you? I did. Did you know they have a bouquet? It's a dream come true. They have a bouquet of hot sauces. I want it to be a bouquet of tacos. Yeah, that would kind of get weird after a while i'd eat that shit while i was getting married that would be funny you may now bite the taco (laughs) oh (laughs) (laughs) that just got weird yes let's both watch this clip at the same time okay of snoop dogg working at duncan this is the promo for the new beyond sausage sandwich okay and it's a 30 second clip and it's um snoop dogg um pull it up to see if you're gonna have ads first beyond meat fan we know is our newest Oh, you know what? You can do the audio. I'll watch along on this side. Oh, okay. To help introduce our new Beyond Sausage Sandwich. You watching it? Yeah. Uh, you want that plant-based great taste? You want you that plant-based great taste? taste? Top of the moment. Are you stupid? <laughs> Fresh out the oven. That's so that funny. Man. He's working the drive through window. I love him so much. Introducing the great tasting plant-based Beyond Sausage Sandwich. Oh, I get it. They did that because he likes weed. And it's green. Plant-based. Plant-based. You get it? Yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> now that's some genius marketing that's right there. That's some genius marketing. What's Have up, Beyond Meat? We're ready to sponsor you too, baby. So, you know what? I eat a lot of Beyond Meat at home. That's, All right. Um, that's my my preference in fake meats. Well, when one has a choice in fake meats, yeah. one should always go beyond. Yep. I agree. Have you ever watched uh, Snoop and Martha Stewart's cooking show? I have not, but I love those memes when it's him like hanging on. They're oh, the best of friends. It's yeah. the why not? Ju- it's just like the most pure, true, platonic love that I've ever seen, other than ours. That platonic love. <laughs> Do you what you think you're Snoop now? <laughs> yeah. It? Okay, that's where we're at. That's where we're living. You know what we um, should find out is the um, like which donut most people prefer overall in the world. Okay. Okay. Most popular do- Doug nut. I think it's probably just a cake donut. I don't know the just cake. The red. Glazed. Mm. Glazed donuts took top honors with 36% of the vote. Most popular. Um, oh, let's. Do you think that's because of Krispy Kreme? Probably. 
I don't understand the attraction. I think it's because you get to take the kids there and they get to look through the glass and you get to see that gross. They're they're regular and then they dip into that cum looking dip batter. <laughs> exactly. And they come out of it all drizzly, <laughs> begizzly. <laughs> I, ha- I do have to say that the Krispy Kreme in Burbank has really great customer service. I was not aware that there was a Krispy Kreme in Burbank. It's next to the Wendy's that we go to. I don't think I've ever been to the Wendy's there either. Oh, you mean, yes, I have. Yes, I have. I'm Thank sorry. Thank you. The day that we went and bought plants. With Nick Pyatt. Nick Pyatt. Our Nikki friend. P. Nikki P. Sometimes producer of some shows that are on our <laughs> network, but usually not. Um, There is one thing that I'm going to want to add into this episode. I have a fantastic video of myself. Also, Maybe you ought to keep that private. <laughs> not like that. So, <laughs> on tour with James Taylor, and I got to the gig in Portland again, home of Voodoo Donuts. Mm-hmm. And my friend Carrie was out on tour with me. We had her on my actual podcast. Um, What's Carrie, it called? Carrie Tedesco. Your well, that's what she's called. Okay. <laughs> my podcast is called Tales from Seat 4. Oh, good. I should check that out. You should. Um, and she had sent a runner to Voodoo Donuts to get some donuts, and she got me the one that she figured would be my favorite. And it's shaped like a little gingerbread man, kind of. <coughs> COVID cough. COVID cough. Whew. Smoker's cough. Um, and it's jelly filled. And so supposedly when you bite the head off of it, the red goo pops out like it's blood. That's fucking hilarious. But guess what? There's a called? video of me and she's like, she gives me the the donut and I'm all excited. And I'm like, I'm going to bite the head off this man donut. Rawr! And I bite the head off, and there's no goo in mine. Oh, no. That's Chris just, doesn't even like that. Chris Evans was not, he did not fucking approve that either. He wants me to have the goo inside. You want to see if we can get through <laughs> the top 15 flavors of donuts in America? I think we should. I think, uh, I think it's going to 15 to 1 here. So, uh, number 15, lemon cream. I enjoy lemon cream. Yep. I actually, in the Trejos there, there's a key lime. That I enjoyed. We're going to need to eat that for the outro. I, it's like a, a bite or two. Number 14, apple fritter. That's what I meant by bear claw earlier. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because it's got a little... I didn't peg you for a bear claw. No. But sometimes That's I accidentally get a bear... I'm like, oh, one of those. Because you know how you never order donuts by... The one? The, by the name? Oh, yeah. You're like, that one. Yeah. Point at them. You know what? That brings back a memory. Uh-oh. On the first day of school every year, to make it special, yeah, we, my mom would go out the night before and get a dozen donuts, oh, and we could. Uh, me and my sister went. She got to pick six, and I got to pick six. And now that I think about it, I would get that white frosted with the white cr- icing inside, but not. You know what I mean? So just the, the Bavarian cream. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. That's what made school suck. That's so cute. Number thirteen, cinnamon. Ew. Yeah, those look like donut holes. Uh, twelve, sugar. Which is just a regular crispy cream looking one with just a ton of sugar on it. Yeah. This is why Americans are dying uh, at Ameri- a, yeah. an insane rate. Sure. 11, custard filled. Mm-hmm. Ooh, number 10, vanilla frosting with sprinkles. Okay. That's, so that's just your average Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. My favorite thing about 7 Eleven is that they have the um, Simpsons donut. They've had those for years. Yes. Since they so did good. The, I mean, um, I don't eat Simpsons them very movie, often, but right? it's pink frosting with mm-hmm. sprinkles on it. Mm. Yeah. Number nine. You could also get Duff beer when they that's started right. that, remember? Yeah. Did you go to the yeah. 7-Eleven in Burbank? The one that, yeah. And they flipped it? That was fun. Uh, I did. Number nine, double chocolate. Okay. It's chocolate with chocolate icing on top. I don't feel strongly about that. Mm-mm. Ooh, number eight, powdered. I like. Isn't that powder? Oh, I guess that's... It's like the ones that come in like little sleeves. I like those. <sighs> I mean, that, I did... People that snack on those weird me out. It's just like, oh, I'm going to get a sleeve of donuts. Or remember those but little bags? But they're little. The bags? They're like this big. Yeah. So why does that weird you out? They're I like don't know. Little it's mini just, donuts. It's everybody, I think that's actually what they're called is mini donuts. Yeah. But people always want to eat those in the car on a road trip. Oh, so you just get mad because their cocaine dust is all over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, listen. Whatever. If you're going to be splashing cocaine all around the car. It needs to look a little, needs to have an effect. Yeah. If you're going to get a bag of donuts, get a full-size bag of cocaine to go with it. Just dunk your donuts into cocaine. Dunkin' Donuts brought to you by cocaine. cocaine. <laughs> I think we're going to be on the uh, speed round here. Let's go. Uh, seven, maple. Six, strawberry jelly. Ugh. Yeah. See, this is kind of a cheat. Number five, chocolate frosting with sprinkles. This is just, we just said sprinkles earlier. Well, that was vanilla frosting with sprinkles. Oh, boy. Uh, 
Chocolate Long John. I used to call those eclairs, I think. Well, no. They're like this big. They got a smear of chocolate, but they got shit in the middle. Well, yeah. Those are made out of a different kind of crust. They're made out of more like a hard croissantish crust. Yeah. Eclairs are. Boston Cream, number three. I like a Boston Cream. Number two, Chocolate Glazed. So it's like the white glazing on the chocolate Ew. donut. Yeah. Ugh. And number one, oh, it's just a regular donut. Just a glazed donut. It's got to be Krispy Kreme. Okay, do you feel like beignets fall into the category of donuts? I think that's too fancy for me. I don't know what New it Orleans, is. New Orleans, the the fried bread with the powdered oh sugar. Oh my god! I, Cafe du Monde. I never had a beignet until uh, I was in San Francisco this mm. past year. Okay. And uh, my DP ordered some for the table, and they were dusted. They're fantastic. I was like, wow. There is nothing like sitting at the Cafe du Monde in New Orleans. In the morning, before all the drunks wake up, and having some chicory coffee. Some what? Some chicory coffee. Oh, okay. It's Louisiana. Oh, let's find. Sours. We got one minute on the clock. Let's all see right. what's the what's the best coffee to drink with donuts. Yes, I think it's Trejo's. I had a latte today, and I literally want to stop tomorrow morning, not to get more, but just to tell the girl thank you. It was the best coffee I've ever had. Plain oat milk latte. Oat milk latte. Yeah. How do you milk oats? You soak them in water overnight, mm -hmm. and then you put them into a blender until they just dissipate completely, and it makes milk. Same thing with so almonds. So it's basically Same just gross soy. oat milk water? Same thing with cashew, macadamia, any kind of alternative. It just dissolves in water and makes milk? Yeah. I just think it'd be funny to get you just to be out there milking it into a <laughs> tiny little bucket. What are you doing this morning? Milking my oats. Milking my oats. <laughs> well, um, like I said, I'm probably going to stop tomorrow morning and, I don't know. Get another coffee? Get another coffee and tipper twice as much as I did today. Because well, it was the best coffee I've ever had. Are, are those made individually? Yeah. Wow. I can't believe we did 15 minutes on donuts. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just didn't think we could do it. Well, we did. Keep Malasados. Ever had those? No. Hawaiian donuts? There it is. Oh, I haven't. What's a, what is it for the buzzer beater? Um, It's kind of like a fried bread. It's like a Portuguese bread. Um, And then it's shot in there with like a, a white cream. And then there's sugar like dusted on top of it. I'm going to have to look it's it up. It's a big thing in Honolulu. Um, I think it's Leonard's Bakery, I think is where the home of. I'm going to check it out when I go to Hawaii to see my buddy <laughs> Danny in August. That's right. As you should. Yep. Have him take you to, Mal or to Leonard's to have some Malasadas. Well, he's on the wrong island, but we'll hop a, hel a helicopter, a helibord. The, I'm telling you, Malasadas are worth it. Let's go. All well, right. Well, unless it's Friday. Unless it's, it's Friday. Friday. We'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.